YouTube, what's good, YouTube? Let me take a walk. I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to go sit on the thing over there. Collecting pine cones? Wife over there collecting pine cones. Hey, y'all, so... So, um... Wow, there's a bunny over there. Cool. So, I want to talk about... Like, I've been seeing it a lot, but... Not only have I been seeing it, about a week or two ago, I wanted to draw Hanuman, right? Hanuman, so... I never got the chance to draw Hanuman. I haven't... Because the Hindu deities, you got to put in a lot of energy because they're so... They're so detailed and so focused that you got to take your time and... Like, if I, when I really want to do a good job, and I've been feeling, like, very tired and stuff, so. So, um, I've been seeing, like, it's this channel, like, when some dude that I follow, DreamWise, whatever. He's been talking about Hanuman, and I was, it's weird because, um, like, I've been, it's been popping in my head to draw Hanuman. Damn, look at the bunny. See if I get the bunny. And I never got around it, so. Plus, what's taking place now with, with the whole. Um, let me see if I can get this bunny. Man, he ran off. So, what's taking place right now with the whole monkeypox thing, right? So, you know, you know, the, the, um, the adversary likes to flip things. And um, with the whole monkeypox thing, right? So, a quick story, right, about Hanuman. Hanuman is the monkey god, right? And Hanuman, he, he comes from two monkey deities. And Hanuman, all right, Hanuman, he was... So as you can see, everything is is a reflection of us. So Hanuman was blessed with, with incredible strength. He could fly. He's very loyal. He's very devoted. So, but the thing about when Hanuman was born, right, when he was a baby, he was born very hungry. And the first thing he saw was the sun. He saw the sun and he wanted to eat the sun. So being blessed with the with the gift of flight, Hanuman just from his crib he just took off and went to go eat the he went to go eat the sun. So Indra, the Lord of the sky, Indra, he saw Hanuman <laughs> trying to go eat the sun. So he whacked him. Boom, a baby. Hanuman was a baby, so he whacked him. And um and he hurt him, whatever. I think he I think he, he killed him. Then Hanuman's parents came and there was a whole there was a whole fiasco. I'm just paraphrasing because so this is you have to go get the Mahabharata and and um and read about it. But I'm just giving y'all the the the, the little details to know enough. So, so long story short, they ended up reviving Hanuman, and I think they ended up reviving Hanuman. He came back to life, whatever. So Hanuman, when Hanuman was was a child, you know, like a little kid, a little kid. You know, all kids are fucking mischievous and. I mean, I, I know I was a very mischievous kid. I got kids, they be driving me insane sometimes. And, Cause we all Hanuman. Plus, Hanuman is the monkey god. Chimps and human share 98.8% of the DNA. Like, we're like almost the same. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the scientists, when they do, when they be doing like 
experiments and stuff they test they test monkeys because <laughs> the compatibility with our dna and all that stuff right even elon musk he just put a chip he put a chip in a in a um in a chimp or a monkey and that went terrible so that tells us that that Neuralink thing is not compatible with us so so um hanuman he was very mischievous right so the sages you know the, the 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 you know sages sages are very devoted they they know nonsense they don't they don't play with their meditation with their their absten their abstinence they're very they're very um devoted when they when they meditate and you cannot be over here har um interrupting their meditation or none of that but hanuman being being the mischievous monkey that he is he will start fucking with them. He'll start messing with the with the sages. And and um and the sages got mad with Hanuman and they cursed him. And they cursed Hanuman. They so Hanum well Hanuman's curse was that um that he was gonna forget all his powers. Kinda like what's happening to us. We forgot all our powers. So Hanuman forgot that um that he can he had to read he had to go through through the cycle of relearning himself kind of like what was happening to us right now we we was at the top we got blessed you know what i'm saying and um actually lord indra blessed hanuman some more i think if i'm not mistaken there's so much information that i'll be forgetting sometimes he blessed hanuman and gave him like a little bit more more blessings than what he had when when he whacked him out the sky for trying to eat the sun. So Hanuman got cursed by the sages and he forgot all his gifts, all his all his um all his talents and all his things. So remember he was he was wild, he was very mischievous, he was very you know like a like you know he was just he just did what he wanted to do. And plus having all that power at at his disposal, he just running wild. So they took all that away from him, and um, and he had to go through the cycle of relearning. So in that process, Hanuman was became more um, more devoted. He became more more spiritual. He will meditate. He'll um, you know, he'll he'll be he'll be more in tune with with himself and and with the outside world and, and the creation and all that stuff. But one of Hanuman's greatest gift was that um he he would um he would he would be extremely loyal to to Lord Rama. And and Rama Rama was um Rama's the seventh incarnation of Vishnu. And um and Hanuman was very devoted to Lord Vishnu because Vishnu's the preserver. Vishnu's the preserver, she was the destroyer, and um and Brahma's the creator. So Hanuman was very devoted to Lord to Lord to Lord Rama. That's that's a whole another story. The Lord Rama's story, like all these all these well the, more so the indian pantheon is is very rich very rich in understanding of knowing thyself that's why i love it that's why i'm always in, i'm always into that into the hindu religion plus i've seen a bunch of the deities so so i can like like I know they exist and I know they real because I've seen them, I witnessed them, I've been in their presence. I've, y'all know, y'all yeah, been following my channel, so y'all know. So, so Hanuman, it's like we're going through the whole. We fell from divinity, and we we gotta relearn ourselves. We gotta know thyself. We gotta be more disciplined. That's the thing. Hanuman, when he went through his cycle that he had, that he lost, that they took away all his power because he got cursed by the sages. 
you had to become disciplined and 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 go through the through the spiritual through his spiritual journey to regain back his power to connect back with with, with himself to, to to regain all the power the duke of fly he had insane wisdom hanuma has has insane wisdom that's why um if you're trying to be if you're trying to like like i guess tap into knowledge and wisdom do a hanuman mantra and and you know what i'm saying meditate on hanuman and and if and if he find and if he you know deems you worthy he'll he'll release the information that you're seeking because we are hanuman <laughs> you are the monkey god we we are look at goku goku when goku was little he had a tail he and he'll end when the when the moon will turn full he'll um he'll turn into a monkey he'll turn into a huge monkey and the monkey will be um yo the story of goku is kind of like the story of hanuman it's kind of very similar but yeah that was just a quick brief explanation about hanuman i urge y'all to to study hanuman and not only just hanuman but like shiva all, all these deities because they all hold the piece to the puzzle. Everything holds a piece to the puzzle. You are, if 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 we're going back to the oneness, all is one, one is all, and, and you are me, I am you, and, and and we becoming one with nature, and we are nature. You know that we, the human is 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 the um, the embodiments of all the elements that we see outside and and all that stuff. What makes you think that all these other pantheons don't hold a piece to your puzzle or to better understanding yourself? And in my spiritual journey, when I when I dabble into all these all these um pantheons, I, I just discover more about myself and more gets released and and more aha moments and more clarity. And it's just, it's just such a blessing, man. But yeah, I don't know. I'm in this park. Every time I'm in this park, like I get the, the urge to like come on YouTube and, and talk a little bit. But yeah, that's the story of Hanuman. Um, I urge y'all to tap in. Just tap in. Look into the monkey guy. Because we in the... We're in the monkey pox stages. I think my wife just sent me a thing that, um, I don't know where it's at, but they just declared a state of emergency for monkey pox. So, this is how I think. Like, this is how it's going down. Just the same thing with the COVID and all that. Damn, I ain't even mean to say it. But, like, when, when, when the DNA is starting to unlock, like, a certain aspect of ourselves, a certain godly, godly aspect of ourselves begins to unlock, Hanuman, they're trying to block Hanuman. They're trying to block you from, from accessing your Hanuman powers. And sooner or later, they're going to they're gonna be like, oh, monkey pox is running rampant. Ah, ah, ah. But we got the solution for you. Just take this, bum, bum, and you should be all right. And there goes your Hanuman powers. <laughs> Anyways, I'm out, y'all. Y'all be safe. Y'all stay safe. And y'all be good. Peace.